Hey guys, it's Serge coming at you again with another Ryzen 3 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to flash the new MJE firmware that has come out by Verizon um, and how to obtain your root. Now for this, you have to be on either MJ7 or MJE. You could be on M19 um, or M but I'm going from uh, MJ7 to MJE. So make sure you're on one of those firmwares. If you're not on any of those firmwares, if you want to go up to MJ7, be sure to take a look at my other videos. I show you how to do that, how to go to MJ7 firmware. Now I'm going to make the assumption that you already have the USB drivers for your phone installed on your computer. If not, I'll put a link in the description down below on where you can get them, install them, and have that set up on your computer. And also I'm making the assumption that you have a USB cable that you can plug your phone into your computer with. And all the files that we're going to be using today will be in the description down below. It's going to be Odin, Kingo, and the tar file that we're going to be actually flashing to your phone. All those will be in the description down below. They'll be in the forum posts. So go ahead and grab them there. Okay, so we're going to be we're going to be able to complete this in four easy steps. Step 1 is going to back up the at your apps and your data. You can use Titanium Backup or Google Sync for that. Uh, I have a video showing you how to use Titanium Backup to back up your applications. So go ahead and check that out. I'll put all these links in the description down below and then probably an annotation around here. You also want to make sure that you use that you create a system backup of your phone using your recovery. I'm I'm going to be making a vid video in this in the future. Um, but for now, if you know how to do it, go ahead and do that. If not, go ahead and Google it for now. I will be coming out with a video soon. Then we're actually going to be flashing the new MJE firmware onto your phone using Odin. And last but not least, we will obtain root using Kingo. And that's all there is to it. There's four easy steps. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are on the computer. Uh, I have an MD5 checker and here are the tar files. This is a zip. You're going to want to open that up and unzip it to wherever you want. I just unzipped it to my my desktop. And then here we have Odin and it's and a file that it needs to run and Kingo, which we're going to use for a root. So, first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description down below and go ahead and download the tar file. This is for the Verizon Note 3 and the size is pretty big it's a little bit over a gig so it's gonna take a little while to download and right here where it says MD5 sum you're gonna wanna copy that whenever you're done downloading it and then go over to your checksum utility I have uh, the MD5 and SHA checksum so I'm gonna uncheck the SHAs and then I'm gonna paste my MD5 code I'm gonna browse so we're gonna actually have to navigate and select the zip file Alright, so I navigated uh, through the browse button to my desktop and selected the RAR file and verify and the, the codes matched. So that's good. So we got that out of the way. And now we'll go ahead and open up Odin. Right here where it says AP, go ahead and select that and, and navigate over to where this tar file is. Okay, so I went ahead and navigated and selected it. And it's going to say please wait the file is pretty big so Odin might even show not responding just give it a while it's processing it's processing that file for you and while we're waiting for that to go uh, go ahead and grab your phone and take off the back if you have an SD card go ahead and remove it that's just to play it safe so we got our SD card and then put your back on okay and go ahead and turn off your phone completely so now you see Odin has uh, left CS, so it's good to go. It's ready. And your phone is off. So once your phone is off, go ahead and grab your data cable. So grab your USB cable and then plug it into your computer. <clears throat> and don't plug it into your phone yet. Just make sure it's on a USB 2.0 port. You could use USB 3.0, but Odin really doesn't work well with it. So make sure it's on a USB 2.0. Okay, so now we have to put the phone into a download mode or Odin mode. So you hold your home button and then the power down button, I mean the volume down button, and then you press the power button. It'll vibrate and then take you to this screen. 
so all you have to do whenever you're in this screen right here is press the volume up button to continue and then you'll have this so this is uh, what I have right now so once we're in this mode we can go ahead and connect it to the computer okay and it'll pop up in your Odin as a COM port right here so go ahead and just start it's gonna begin the flashing of all these files so just give it a little while and you'll see the progress bar right here as in a green bar and then on your phone you'll also have a blue bar that will start making its way across your screen as well so just go ahead and give it a little while okay so it's just about done here it's going to flash the modem and the cache there we go and it says reset so right now your phone should be it should have turned off and then turned back on and it's going into a recovery booting mode by itself and then you should have a little android icon on your screen right now and a little blue progress bar and then it's going to turn off again and reboot during this whole process do not unplug your USB cable just let it do its thing until Odin says done on the screen so the phone's going to restart again and now it should be booting into your system now this first boot will take quite a while because it is it is a huge it is a huge file that we just flashed to it and it's like as if it was a brand new phone so it takes a while for it to catch itself so just let it go for a little while if it is taking quite a bit do not be alarmed as long as you have the Verizon logo still on your screen you should be fine just give it a little while do not be alarmed by the time that it takes it's normal there we go and Odin says passed it took just a little bit under seven minutes for it to complete the phone is still booting up though alright now I'm at the setup wizard so now that I'm there I'm gonna go ahead and close out this window and I'm gonna go through the setup wizard really quick just to get it out of the way okay so now I'm in the phone and we should have the MJE firmware I'm gonna go to my settings and verify that for you guys go to settings and then all the way down to about phone and then I'm gonna scroll down to where my information is so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and as you can see my baseband version is now MJE and then my build number is MJE okay <clears throat> so that's it for flashing the MJE firmware now we're gonna root the phone so what we have to do is go to the Kingo app this will be in this description down below go ahead and download it and install it you actually have to install it to your computer and here we go so before we actually start the Kingo device the Kingo software you have to enable USB debugging on your phone so to do that go to your settings and then go all the way down to about phone scroll down all the way and then just start tapping on build number and then you'll see down there it says you have to do it about five times and it will enable it and then it will de enable developer mode which will allow you to enable USB debugging so just go ahead and go back into settings and then right about right above where it says about phone you should see the developer options now go ahead and select that and midway you'll see USB debugging about midway right there and about midway in there you should see USB debugging go ahead and select that and then OK and that's it USB debugging is enabled and now we connect we can connect the phone to the computer now in this process I'm gonna have to go through it really quick because that's how the Kingo app works it goes really quickly uh, you're gonna see some notifications pop up on your phone one of them is for USB debugging go ahead and just uh, follow the instructions on the Kingo root app uh, but basically you just have to check the little box that comes up and then accept and then the next one is gonna be about Google uh, just go ahead and decline it and then it'll continue on so let's go ahead and start and I'm gonna plug in I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the phone onto into the computer 
okay it's plugged in and then this will pop up right here go ahead and select always allow from this computer and then OK and then on the Kingo app it will continue and then we select root on the phone there should be some kind of Google thing that will pop up and just go ahead and decline this and then that little glitch will happen and then you'll see on the computer that it's still waiting for device just let it go and then it says it's restarting and that's it you should see root succeeded on your computer go ahead and select finish and we'll go ahead and close out of this All right, and now once it boots back into this, I'm going to go ahead and restart it one more time. Kingo recommends it. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. Then I'm going to swipe to unlock, and then I'm just going to turn it off and restart it one more time. All right, and now that's it. So now you're rooted with the latest MJE firmware. Now if you want to go back to the MJ7 firmware for whatever reason, it has been reported as it's possible because usually as in when we went to from M19 to MJ7 if you went back to M19 firmware and tried reflashing that with Odin you would end up bricking your phone but supposedly if you're going from MJE to MJ7 you should be fine and there should be no issues but just do that at your own risk if you're at MJE I just recommend doing a flash of the MJE again if you if you just want to redo it again, I recommend reflashing MJE and not MJ7 and then going ahead and doing this whole process over again. Hopefully that's covered everything in this. If I did leave anything out or if you have any questions, please be sure to leave a comment down below. Be sure to like this video so more people can come and see it and be helped by it as much as you have. And also be sure to subscribe so whenever I make any new videos on tips and tricks, which will be coming out soon, you'll see them as soon as they come out. Alright guys, so my name is Serge, I'm glad I could help, and y'all have a good one.